Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to understand about the uh, another activity that is a delete activities. In previous video we have already seen like how to perform a copy activity, how to transfer a data from one blob container to another blob container. Now in this particular video we will see another activity that is a delete activity. So we have one of the business use case. First let us try to understand about the business use case and then we will try to do a practical. Okay, so what is our business use case? So we have a data that is available in one of the pipeline. Okay, so what actually happening? Suppose you have one of the containers that is a blob container. There you are receiving a continuously files. Now what actually happening? You are also running one of the pipeline that is a copying data from that particular container to the specific container. Okay, once the data move to the specific container, now what actually we have to do in our requirement, we have to delete the file which is available into the particular container. So in that kind of the requirement, generally we use our delete activity where we have to delete any kind of the file which is available in any kind of the container or anywhere. Okay, so how actually we can use that in a Azure Data Factory pipeline that actually we are going to understand in this particular video. So what actually I will do, I will open my Azure Data Factory, okay. So I have one of the storage account. Okay, this is my storage account I have. Okay, if I click here, I will show you one of the container. So I have one of the container. The container name is input container and here I have one file that is a emp CSV file. Now what actually I have to do, I have to create one of the pipeline in the data factory studio. Through that pipeline I have to delete that particular file. How actually we can do? First go to the author, click on the pipeline new pipeline okay and after that go to the general okay now you can see you have option like the delete just drag it once you will drag it okay you will get this option if you want to change the name you can uh, give any name i will give delete activity something okay and after that the timeout if it is failing if you want to do any kind of the retry that retry interval also you can set up okay now once this one is set up okay now go to the source now here we have to create a data set so click on the new what is our source source is Azure blob storage so i will select that click on the continue we'll create a new link service link service is nothing but a to create a connection okay so first you have to give the name okay integration runtime i will go with by default azure subscription i have to select storage account name select your storage account name okay now after that check your connection whether it's getting established successfully or not okay you can see our connection is now successful click on the create okay now after that from here you can select the file path i will select this particular file path and i will select this particular file which i want to delete Okay, file path I have selected, click on the OK. Now your source is ready. Okay, go to the logging setting, logging account, uh, link service if you want, or whatever the log details if you want to save, that actually you can uh, select that. Okay, now from here you can select the folder path. I select the same. Okay, I selected the same. Whatever the logging details, right, that, that actually we have to do a selection okay once this one is done you, you have to click on the publish all click on the publish all you can see it is publishing once the publish is completed we will try to run the pipeline and we will try to see whether it's running successfully or not you can see the status is in publishing it's completed now click on the add trigger click on the trigger now now our pipeline will start running okay you want to monitor go to the monitor window and now here you will get to see your pipeline which is running let me refresh this one you can see this one is a pipeline which we have run and it is success success also it succeed also now if you will go to the your blob storage storage account now if you will check the in container input container okay there there will be no file because we have deleted that particular file and this is a, uh, the logging details we are saving right that is the logging detail actually we got from here okay so that is how actually we can use a delete activity 
okay so if any file you want to delete you can use a delete activity and the locking details where you actually you want to save that actually you can save it okay and uh, so this is how uh, the file emp.csv file we deleted that is the logging details we are getting okay so that's it in this video